Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legacy of the Duelist, Link Evolution. This is the deck that we are taking with us. Let us begin. Oops. Zexel is where we're at. So let's see what kind of deck we're bringing with us. Yusa Siroto. Perfect. And now this time around we will attempt to construct Skumo Yuma's deck. Why? Because it gives us an excuse to deck build and nothing else. Okay. So let's see what's up with us. Oops. Why is it so slow? I mean, why is the game slow right now? I don't know. Okay. No, the game's not slow. My mouse is fine. I think I'm just... I'm just out of it. Okay. So time for objectively what is considered the best opening of all time in GX format. Not this, but these two. You open with Cyber Dragon. And then you normal summon Breaker. And then from here you use Breaker's... A Oops. Pause. Effect. Shins. Full screen. Why was I not on that? I don't know. Activate effect. Pop this. And then because... Ah. Damn. Well, it has to be a trap now. Okay, obviously this is something good. Or he has knock in his hand. Regardless, we're going to swing just in case it isn't. It was. We're going to burn for a little bit of points, but that's okay. And we pass our turn. The good thing about this man is that his deck sucks. So I can get away with playing a little bit poorly. In addition, I would like to point out that I will not be doing the survival lock for the Moemon Let's Play. Instead, we're moving to Soul Silver because I'd rather get through more game than go back to a game I already completed, technically. I know some of you are probably looking forward to the survival lock, but the truth is that I tried to record it earlier and it would not let me. Uh, you gotta be kidding me! Flip Turner. Let's do this. Flip Turner over here is a really good opponent. Not even not even lying for a second, he's pretty scary. Okay, that's fine. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to do this. We are going to sacrifice for this. The reason being, it gives us an excuse to summon an Exceed the Shokan. That's right. We can now Exceed Summon, ladies and gentlemen. What that means is we have access to these black cards. And I really liked these black cards when they first came out. In fact, my first deck upon the XC's era was an attempt to build gadgets. Did it succeed? No. But did I like playing it? Of course. Hmm. Battle. Why is my mouse so slow right now? Okay. That seems to have fixed it, and I don't know how or why, but it seems to have. Okay. And then we pass our turn here. At this point, this opponent of ours, while he does have the edge on us in terms of cards, what he lacks is the ability to fight. That's a Pac-Man card, so we're going to prevent it from going off any further. Excellent! Excellent to this. Good to this. All right, Flip Turner, I command you to A, die the death. I sentence you to death. This great equalizer known as Great Parsha is the death. Yes, that was an Umineka reference. I wonder how many of you guys figured that out. Probably a decent chunk of you considering how much I talk about it. I just really wanted to say that line. I didn't say it exactly like she did in the, sh in the book, but you know, it's fine. The book, the sound novel, the sound novel. Why do I keep calling it a book? That's because it's, it's part of the book club, so I just assume it's a book for the time being. Regardless, we have so much advantage over this poor kid that he's not going to do anything to us that's too drastic. At least, not that I can think of. Anyways, our opponent has set a monster and passed his turn. Could this be a sign that he is just not feeling it right now? Oops. I don't know why my Discord opened, but sure. Let's let it open. That was kind of funny. 
Tech. Now that one didn't make any sense. Why did the game pause? Attack. Regardless, our poor, our poor opponent here is going to lose. Called Erat Demonstratum. And what do I got out of this? Nothing good. So up next, oops. Up next, we go up against Skumayum, and we begin our deck building for him. He genuinely has good cards that I want to get out of him. So the better our pulls from him, the better our main deck will be, and even better off, we will also be able to construct the Yuma deck. And the Yuma deck is one that I also want to build because it's cool. It's very cool. Okay, I can lock him for a turn, but is that really it? One full one. Oh, this is when he played Baby Taragon for some reason. Okay, how can she? One foul one. Excellent. Our hand is garbage. He did not play Monomane Kensoshi, but whatever. This he did play. What did you do? This card is the same damage that I gave to the opponent. The Maho Trap Zone. Okay. So in other words, this is a bounce my face up back row. That's pretty pretty spooky here, Tsukumo Yuma. I'll give you credit. A pretty spooky effect you have. But not spooky enough. What is this? Half unbreak. What do you do? Hold on, let me root let me root not you. What do you do? So when a monster you're on your field is targeted. この in essence, he takes half damage and his monster can't be destroyed this turn. Unique I ought to Okay, are my animations just slow? Like, what's going on? Options... Wait, animation speed isn't a thing in this game. Animation speed is not a thing in this game. What am I talking about? I have no idea. So what I'm going to do here is set some cards. And... I think I need to pass my turn. I don't think I actually have a play left in to make this turn. <coughs> You're up, Skumo Yuma. So what is he going to do? Okay. Hatten Kaze. Okay. With this, I'm going to switch it to defense because if it does battle damage, it doesn't doesn't really do anything. But I'd rather, I'd rather just force it into defense so I can kill it myself later. I know that it doesn't go down yet, but it's better now than later. Mm -hmm. So instead, what I'm going to do is switch into defense and pass my turn. I really should have just let it die, get Parshaft, but you know. I made a mistake. I mis I forgot what the card did in temporary seconds. Okay. But overall, we're going to be fine. Okay, this is a Zexel duel, not a 5Ds duel that are just annoying. Zexel was pretty weak compared to 5Ds. Not the meta. The meta was insane during this time. But, you know, the, the most crooked Korok ban list ever took place around this time. Where they banned a bunch of good synchros to make way for the XC stuff. Which I get it, they're trying to sell a product, but that was the most blatant corporate ban list that nobody liked. And if someone did like it, I'd like you then to explain why. Uh, oh, to prevent it from attacking. Kuru. Excellent. However, there's not much I can really do about that, so i can just going to set it and pass my turn. The big issue right now is that Kainogo Hukin is a really annoying card. Not because it's good, but because of what it prevents. Why is Jester Confi in attack mode? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. But what I do know is that my opponent is not very smart in this moment. Unless this set card is Mirror Force, in which case I will say that Skumo Yuma is the greatest. But even I have my doubts about that claim. Battle. Swing does it. Good. 
スイングだぜ。グレイト、スイングだぜ。パーフェクト、パストーン。Regardless, Kudo Kimuri no Uchi is currently unable to continue the assault, so I'm not sure what Skumo Yuma plans to do here. But what I can infer is that it's not something that I want to happen, and it's not something that I can consider to be good. At the very least, that's my thought process on it. I also want to point out that I looked at the analytics of this channel today and discovered something very interesting. 100% of the audience at the time of recording this video were men. 22.20 something percent of the audience were in the United States. Who is watching this content? I really want to know. If you guys want to like, tell me like, where you're at, who you are, what kind of person you are, your personality. I'm good. I would love to learn it. So I know what I can target and make content that you guys enjoy more. Or maybe I can just keep making the content. Maybe you guys like this content already. Regardless, at the current moment, our gameplay is so bad in terms of skill. And I am not playing the most tactful Yu Gi Oh! I can play. And that kind of sucks. But you know what? It's okay. As long as we're playing Yu Gi Oh! and we can strategize, everything is a okay. Main 2. He will go to defense and we pass turn here. Alright, s k u m o Yuma. By the way, he did not play Mirror Force. He had it used against him, but he himself never played the card. Doro. Du, 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 du. What we need to do here is sacrifice Kuroki Mori no Uchi for Saiba Dragon. And then using Kuroki Mori no Uchi, we are going to obtain Angel Naito Pashasu to our hand. Excellent. Alright, l we're about to roll up on this kid and put some dust in his eye. And then squirt a lemon into his nose. That's how much I want to defeat Skumo Yuma. Goodbye. Excellent. Okay, so we have Rai Rai Da, Gambara Naito, and Baby t e r a g o Okay, Rai Rai Da, Gambara Naito. Rai Rai Da, and Gambara Naito. Yuma. Ga, ga, ga. Akasata. Alright. I, I know I'm being a bit quiet today, but the truth is that Zexel Era is weird. For me, at the very least. And when I think of Zexel Era, I don't think of the super fast paced, Crazy, I'm specifically the anime in the real life game. That's a different story. The real life game, Zexel Era, was one of my favorite eras. I think that you know, ruler format it was really fun, and a lot of those deck types were just super cool to play. You also have this guy, technically. So, this is what we currently have so far for the Yuma deck. It's Kumo Yuma. Okay, we are going to build this man's deck. Right now, Yusei's deck is so incomplete that we have to improvise. Judai's deck is complete, but we're not playing with any of the good cards. And Yugi's deck is the only one I actually like. This deck looks legit. And meanwhile, our Mystic Breaker deck is cool. And part of me does want to go back and get the, the ritual, but I'm not going to do that. That'd be kind of scummy.